Top Gunners. Bukayo Saka deserves his flowers. There's something special about a player who stands tall in difficult times and shines even brighter when the pressure is off. At 18, Saka was carrying a struggling Arsenal side, playing like a seasoned professional in a sea of inconsistency. Fast forward five years and he's not just a regular starter. He is the star of the best Arsenal team we've had in two decades. His ability to keep calm under pressure, to keep delivering game after game for both club and country, speaks volumes about his character. Is it his deadly runs down the wings? His pinpoint assists? Oh, those killer crosses from the corner flag? Or even the way he finds the back of the net? Bukayo has become world class. People forget he's still just 23. At that age, many are still trying to figure out their place in the team. But Saka has already cemented his status as a leader, an inspiration, and a fan favorite. Some may argue he hasn't done the same for England, but his consistency in red and white alone makes him a standout. For Arsenal, he's not just a player. He is the star boy. He's the reason we're back competing at the top. And when this team finally gets its hands on silverware, we'll know who lit the way. It's funny how fast things can change in football, Shay. Kai Havertz quickly becoming a fan favorite at Arsenal. And it's not just about the performances on the pitch. The guy is also getting in good around the training ground. What has it that he's consistently engaging with staff, especially those who aren't directly involved with the football side of things. He's building relationships, not just with his teammates, but with the entire Arsenal family. That's the type of player you love to have around the club. Arsenal have always prided themselves on signing great footballers and great characters. Kai fits this bill perfectly. His humility, work ethic and desire to win are exactly what we need. The fact that his teammates rally behind him to take that penalty shows the level of trust and support he's earned. Havertz is clearly comfortable at Arsenal now and you can see it reflected in his performances. He's kicked off the season brilliantly and long may that continue. When Kai Havertz joined us, we saw a mixed reaction from the fan base. Some questioned his fit. Others extended grace, allowing him time to grow into his role. Now for Gabriel Jesus, there's a clear division too. Some believe the team has evolved beyond his style, claiming he takes too many touches, gets in the way, and disrupts the flow. Jesus' backers, however, point out his proven experience including a Premier League title, and of course his hard work, which remain crucial even if he isn't always clinical in front of goal. Jesus may be best suited for a rotation role right now, which is not the easiest pill to swallow for a player on high wages. Havertz, on the other hand, brings a calm link-up style that's less chaotic and more cohesive than the team's current setup. Jesus' return last season saw a dip in form, but let's not forget how he initially brought dynamism and belief to a growing squad. Should we give Gabriel the same grace as Havertz? His contributions run deeper than stats. They've shaped the team culture and spirit. He might be best off the bench for now. But just like with Havertz, time and right moments can reveal new value in Jesus' skill set. Recently, it was announced that Nikola Jova and the entire backroom team have all agreed to new deals with Arsenal. This was something Mikel Arteta insisted upon when he signed his long-term deal last month, and honestly, I couldn't be happier. The continuity in the coaching staff is crucial for our development as a team. These guys have been instrumental in shaping our playing style, instilling the right mentality, and getting the best out of our players. They deserve this recognition and commitment, and it's great to see the club backing them. 
that's a wrap for today's episode of Up Gunners and uh, I hope you enjoyed delving into the world of Arsenal Football Club with me Tony Doe don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all future episodes if you have any thoughts questions or suggestions feel free to reach out to me at upgunnerspodcast at gmail.com upgunnerspodcast at gmail.com i'm active on twitter as well at upgunnersng active on facebook at upgunnersng we're also on instagram at upgunnersng until next time keep the gunner spirit alive and remember upgunners